Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from SelfMadeSuccess.com and in this video I'm going to show you a few business ideas that you can start online that are completely free to start so you don't have to have any capital. I know a lot of people let me know that they won't start a business because they're afraid of how much it'll cost them and they don't have any extra money. Well, as far as this goes, you have no excuse because these are all free online business ideas that you can start right away. So the first one is you can use these money making apps that are becoming more and more popular on smartphones. So if you have any kind of smartphone, you can download apps like Feature Points, Feature Gift, um, and there's a lot of others. I actually did a video recently on like the top 10 money making apps you can do, so you might watch that if you're interested. But um, for instance, on these two apps, you do things like take surveys, uh, download apps, and try them out and uh, do other types of things like even watch videos and stuff like that and then you get points you exchange those points for uh, rewards which are re credit for say PayPal, Walmart, um, Apple and other you know top brands like that and once you get quite a few points going all the time then you can start you know constantly getting stuff through those and I've actually seen people make as much as like two hundred dollars a day just from these apps so if you want to try these out you can use uh, these couple of referral codes to actually help you get to a much faster start and get you a lot of points to start out with instead of having to kind of grind it out so much um, you can use E7KRRE for feature points as the referral code and you can use the referral code FVBD167 on feature gift if you want to try those out. So that will help you kind of get to a quicker start and get more points. Number two, you can make a YouTube channel pretty much if you can do anything that people would be interested in. So for instance Jenna Marbles is a channel where she talks about a bunch of funny stuff and she's um, you know, makes a lot of jokes and a lot of people follow her. Uh, Pootie Pie is another one and he's probably the most watched YouTube channel or at least one of them on the internet and he just does video games and funny reactions to the video games. So it just shows you that you can make a channel about pretty much anything and do really well with it. And both of these actu people actually do this full time they have sponsorships, they made a lot of money from ads on their videos and all kinds of stuff so they make upwards of six figures or seven figures a year doing this so it can be actually be a very good full-time business. Uh, number three you can do affiliate marketing and if you don't know what that is it's where you go to a site like Clickbank or Commission Junction or others you can get a link from the sales page of products that have already been created that are being sold and you can get people to that link and if people buy the product from that link of yours you get a commission okay because you're the one that got the sale and you don't have to worry about making your own product you don't have to worry about customer service you don't have to worry about any of that complicated stuff you can just get the link get people to the link and if they buy it, you get a commission, whether it's 25, 50, 75 percent, it kind of varies. But you can find all kinds of great products on sites like ClickBank. And um, whether you're um, interested in surfing, whether you're interested in uh, learning languages, whether you're interested in supplements or info products, um, they have all kinds of categories you can look at, and you can just do that and find things that you would be passionate about selling and then kind of go for it but you know, a lot of people make a full-time income doing that number four you can do Fiverr and Fiverr allows you to sell all kinds of different services starting around five dollars and that's kind of the whole point of the site which is of course why it's called Fiverr is it has a lot of five dollar services so it has a lot of um, people selling services like transcribing videos, um, doing images for you, doing short blog posts, um, doing reviews and um, things like that. 
doing infographics, you know, just doing all kinds of stuff um, that might not cost a whole lot of money. But then you can also scale it up and offer services that cost 10, you know, 20, 25, or even as much as, you know, like this one is $395. So you can make a full time income and do really well with five with Fiverr if you uh, really work at it. Number five, you can make a Udemy course and sell that, or you can make more than one, but um, all you would do is go to Udemy.com and become an instructor. As you can see um, right here, you can find a place where you just become an instructor up here in the top right on their website. and all you do is create like uh, videos in a course of how to do whatever it is you're trying to teach and um, they sell the course kind of for you because they host it on their site and they do promotions all the time so you don't have to even do that much marketing yourself um, although you have to do a little bit but it's a lot easier than having it on your own website which would be a lot more complicated but uh, you to me if you do a good job and you know a lot about different things that people are interested in, you can make a lot of money with Udemy. Uh, number six is a podcast. You can start a podcast, which are becoming more and more popular. Um, so instead of having a blog, instead of having a video channel, you might want to just have like a your own little radio show, like say the Tim Ferriss Show or the Entrepreneur on Fire podcast. Both of them have done really well with their podcasts. Um, and they personally have sponsors that pay to advertise on their podcast, kind of like radio does. So they'll at the first of their podcast, or maybe at the end, they'll have a little segment where they say, you know, our show is sponsored by so so and so, and then they give the kind of short pitch like a normal advertisement and get paid to do that. So you can do a podcast, and you can even sell stuff from the podcast or promote your own stuff. It doesn't have to be just sponsored advertisers. You can also sell ebooks. So ebooks are another great way to make an income and they are really good for building a brand. If you look at some of the greatest um, people in any industry, a lot of them have written at least one book and a lot of them can say that they are, you know, best-selling authors and you don't have to do some kind of regular book publishing to do that. You can sell really well on Kindle, which is ebooks, and become a best selling author. And if you have a lot of books, you can make a lot of money. Or if you have just one or two really popular books, it just kind of depends. But if you want to do that, you can go to, say, um, kdp.amazon.com, sign up here, and that's the Kindle Direct Publishing. Um, part of Amazon so you can upload books and sell them there. Number eight, you can do social media sponsored posts. So if you had a, if you have a lot of social media followers that are engaging with your posts and things like that, you can sell tweets, you can sell Facebook posts and other posts on social media uh, to your followers for advertisers. So say celebrities like uh, the Kardashians or something. They'll get paid thousands of dollars just to do one tweet for a company because they have millions of followers. So it kind of depends on your follower base. It kind of depends on other things. But um, if you have a good social media following that's strong and engaging, you can go to sponsored tweets or paid per tweet and other sites like that to um, sign up and work with advertisers to sell sponsored posts and all you have to do is have a big social media base so it costs you literally nothing to do. Number nine you can start an Etsy store so if you have art say this is something that you probably already do as a hobby so if you're good at crafts or you're good at making t-shirts or if you're good at drawing or painting or something like that you can make an Etsy store and it's a specific website just for that kind of stuff and you just go to Etsy.com and you can sell on Etsy right here. It's a link for that. And then you make an account and then build your store. Number 10, you can do freelance work, which basically includes anything from writing to editing to um, marketing to promotion. 
um, any, pretty much anything you can think of that you can do online is uh, great for these freelance websites and Upwork and Elance are two of the best ones that you can do so you, I would definitely recommend you try those out if you're going to go that route uh, this one is Upwork, you can just put become a freelancer here it's very easy to get started and um, optimize your profile and then just sell the services you're best at number 11 you can do coaching so say if you're good at helping people personally have kind of a personal relationship with people and help them get through tough times get through personal goals help them reach these goals and things like that you can uh, become a personal coach you can use Skype to uh, do like video calls or you can actually just call them or you know if you want to meet people that's great too but um, a lot of people do coaching just over you know conference calls and uh, Skype and things like that or even Google Hangouts so there's a lot of ways to communicate with people without having to actually see them in person but still be able to have good coaching uh, number 12 you can do coding so if you already know how to code um, that's a really in demand service right now so you can do websites for people you can do software you can build apps and um, people are always looking for good coders so if you're good at this your services are in demand and you should definitely take advantage of that and uh, start a business online with it and last but not least consulting which is kinda like coaching and kinda like freelance but it's kinda somewhere in between uh, consulting is if you've probably done something for a long time and you have a lot of experience with it and maybe you don't want to work in the field anymore or if you're maybe semi-retired or if you just don't want to uh, work for a company you want to be more your own boss you can do consulting work where you just hire to come in help a company get a certain result help them turn something around um, or even work with an individual to get a certain result with their business maybe and um, they'll pay you pretty good money if you know what you're doing so um, it's definitely a great way to make a living especially if you've built your reputation on being very good in that industry so that's about it for this video if you got something from it if you feel like you um, learned something don't forget to like and subscribe so I can bring you more great videos like this to help you um, start a business that actually works and if you want to let me know what you thought about the video or add something that I may have missed in there uh, don't forget to leave a comment and if you want to contact me directly get more in-depth blog posts on this information or even get some tools and uh, some quality resources to help you you can go to selfmadesuccess.com other than that I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day